News. Smashing Pumpkins warmed up for a forthcoming U.S. tour last week by playing three shows in New York City. The band also functioned as its own opening act, donning pajamas to play an opening acoustic set, and also declared war on ticket scalpers. Here's the story. It's almost all new album stuff, and uh, the, the basic idea was um, we knew that if we didn't play in, in a small setting, we would never really play the majority of the album. We would end up playing the stuff you would expect us to play, like Bullet in 1979, but we wouldn't really play the, the songs that are kind of like more, uh, if you know the album, you would like those kind of songs. Just like me. To help reproduce the intricate sounds of melancholy and the infinite sadness, the Smashing Pumpkins are bringing along an additional musician, keyboardist Jonathan Melvoin. We basically put an ad in the paper for a keyboard player about eight months ago. We got about a thousand tapes. We didn't listen to any of them. He showed up, he could play, and we hired him. Someone to pick on. Yeah. Someone new to pick on. He's no. like, we've already, we already have gone through every gamut of like, There's nothing humiliation with each other. <laughs> That's why we get along so well now. You He's know? the new whipping boy. Along with altering their shows to include both acoustic and electric sets, the Pumpkins have forsaken the traditional ticket system. Fans wanting to purchase tickets, which were designed by guitarist James Eha, must get them through a cash-only voucher system. You get a voucher, you present an ID, and then at a later date you come and get your ticket, you know? And then again, you're rechecked again, so it's like, you know, you, at every point along the way you have to present that you are the person who bought the ticket. Well, the whole point of our, our ticketing system is to um, Number one, pretty much cancel out scalping. There's almost literally no way you could scalp. Number two, it's to really provide a chance for people who really want to come see you play to come see you play. And it, and it kind of forces the Fairweather fan to, to, the, to the side. Signing papers and showing IDs is just like too much. So why did you do it? It's pumpkins. It's better than Ticketmaster because you don't have to deal with all the helmets who really don't like the band. You know, people just show up for a concert. You know. Yeah, you gotta be really diehard to wait in line. So, you know, it's a cool crowd. All the years that we've been playing, I've never seen such a high percentage of fans at our shows. I mean, it sounds kind of strange, but it's the most amount of fans. You know, it's not a lot of record people. It's not a lot of people who are just there because you're the band of the moment or whatever. It's completely a fan element, and that's exactly what we want. No word yet on future Smashing Pumpkins dates, but chances are they'll feature the band. Tori Amos.